All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set your trend line through zero. I've taken some ICP atomic analysis data, and I have uh, subtracted out the distilled water signal. I did not baseline. I should have, and all students should before you do this. So I just uh, so I got this corrected data. Now I'm going to do this uh, trend line through zero in two ways. I'm going to do a scatter plot. And once you get that, you can right click and get your trend line. And then over here to the right, it says set intercept. But let's display the equation and the R squared value on the screen so you can get an idea of what happens when you set it through. Let's make it bigger so we can see when you set it through zero. So back to the trend line. And we can see our equation when you set the intercept through zero. Boom, you lose your B term because B is zero. And the R square value, if you look at that, got a little worse because we're now forcing it through a point that's not the best. But that's okay, we want to do that. That will help get some of those lower concentrations. Now to do it with linest, you go equals linest, and then you put in your y's, comma, your x's, comma. Now here we want to set false, and you can see it on the screen, it says b is set equal to zero if you do false. So we want that. And then uh, true to get us some data back. Select a two by three grid. Go back into your original cell. Hit Control Shift Enter. Boom. There's your data. No error in Y because you set your, your Y through zero. Hope that helps.